Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Dexter trailer axle with electric brakes and easy loop spindles. Now this is going to be a pretty much complete system to replace our axle on our trailer if something happened, it got damaged, bent, or broken, or something happened to it, or to fabricate a new trailer with a matching axle for our application. The axle has a max weight capacity of 7,000 pounds, and the measurement from the hub face to hub face is 95 inches, so fairly long, heavy-duty axle for our trailer. If you want to go from the spring seat to spring seat for that measurement, it's going to be 80 inches wide, again going from the center of each of those. They are welded to the bottom of the axle, so that's going to give us an underslung design. And that helps to just drop our trailer deck a little bit lower, which makes loading things onto it a little bit easier. If you think about it, if you have your trailer up here and the ramps are out at kind of a steep angle, if you drop that down, it also brings our ramps down at a more gentle angle and it makes things a lot easier to roll up onto it. So that's the advantage with loading and unloading with that lower deck height there. Now again, we do get our hubs, the cap, the brakes, and all the hardware to get that attached. Our spindles are going to be easy lube, so the cap that comes with it is also an easy lube design, which just means it has that little rubber piece in the center, so you can just pull that out to put a grease gun on there and do that maintenance to keep everything lubed up as you're going down the road. Take that off, you can see there's that grease zerk for our easy lube spindle, so that's a really nice design to, so you don't have to worry about pulling everything out to make sure that everything is greased up properly. You can just pop on your grease gun, pump it up, and you're good to go. Now whenever you initially install it, you will want to make sure that you pack those bearings full of grease by hand or with a bearing um, packer, but typically doing it by hand is really the best way to go. That way you make sure that you get all those little cracks and crevices filled with grease before you hit the road. This does come with a tube of marine grade grease, so you should be set there. You only need to pick up a grease gun to make that happen whenever you're ready to um, do that maintenance. We'll have all the bearings, seals, and races to come with this. The races are installed into the hub, so you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. The brake inside there is going to be an electric brake, so we'll also have our wiring connection to make as well. Comes with the lugs and the, the lugs for our wheels and the studs to get our brakes attached. So pretty complete kit here. As far as the other specs with this, Again, 7,000 pound capacity, hub face to hub face is 95 inches, or the spring center to spring center is 80 inches long. Our hub dimension, it's going to be 12 inches in diameter and 2 inches wide. The bolt pattern on there is an 8, which is 8 studs, on 6.5. So that's the distance from the center of one stud to the center of the opposite one on the other side. So that's 6.5 inches there. That gives us 8 on 6.5. The axle tube diameter is 3 inches. The grease cap outer diameter is 2.72, or about 2 and 3 quarter inches. That wheel stud diameter is going to be a half inch for each one of those studs, and this works with wheel sizes of 16 inches. The whole kit comes with a limited five-year warranty, and it is made in the USA. I think this is going to be a really nice kit to have everything ready to go. It's all going to wear the same. You don't have to worry about one thing getting a little bit more worn out than the other, so it's a really nice way to have all new stuff to pop on your trailer and have everything fresh and ready to go. But that's going to do it for our look at the Dexter trailer axle with electric brakes and easy lube spindle.